Hello and welcome to this video. In this issue of my Eurocylinder exploration series, I would like to show you a Trilog Eurocylinder. Trilog is nowadays an own German lock company that mainly produces bicycle locks. But it was a brand of the German lock company Winkhaus until 2001. And actually the history of Trilog goes back to the 19th century, as I've read. So, as you can see from the package, this lock is not brand new and if they have left um, the Winkhaus company in 2001, uh, you can also see that it is at least 15 years old. But it's still unused and you will find uh, Trilog Euro cylinders on many German doors. So let's have a look at this specific lock. I have uh, picked and got it one side and to be honest with you it took quite a while. I would say one hour until I um, got the feel for this lock. And then I've picked the other side in, in some minutes. So let's lock it back up. That's how the keyway looks like. And I'd like to compare it with a, a Yale Y1 keyway. Uh, you can see it from the Abus. And it's, it's similar, but it's not the same. You can see uh, some differences in the shape and in the yeah, in the shape mainly, um, but it's similar. So when we when we pick it, or what I did in order to pick it, I used this uh, deep uh, eurohook from Sparrows, and I um, went along this curve, and then I inserted the hook into the hole that is um, in the right hand and in the left hand latch and then I could um, yeah, pick the pins and so it's not possible to just go in like that because um, the pins need to be set um, deeper than you can insert uh, a deep hook like so you have to go in like, like so in, with an angle and uh, go around that curve and we are lucky let's have a look at the bidding it's not totally crazy and that's why I'm, I'm able to use this technique all right so let me uh, clamp it in a vise and try to pick it for you all right here it's clamped up in a vise again that's the key works nice and smooth and is locked up I apply tension from the pin side so I have enough room for my pick Alright, so medium tension, pin 1 is binding, I click and it's set, go to number 2 and turn around that curve, try to get my pick in the hole of stack number 2, maybe it's set, I don't know, so it's hard to feel what the pins are doing, 3, I think three is springy. Four. Maybe set. And five. I don't know. I think it's springy. So. Back on, on two. Nothing. Check one. One is okay. So maybe I have overset a pin. I release tension a little bit. came up and I try to use the deep 
thin uh, Eurohook from um, from Sparrows. Maybe I have I can work around that curve a little bit better, but of course I I lose the yeah the pressure on the pick as with this thin hook I cannot apply uh, uh, too much force. But maybe it helps me in coming a little bit closer to where I want to be. Okay, touch two and got a little turn on the core. Okay, check two again. I used this shaking technique as it turned out in the previous uh, picking session that this um, helps the pin uh, to find the shear line. And got a nice little turn on the core. not yet a good full set so I continue searching around for for a pin that gives feedback okay I release tension a little bit and um, Pin 2 has uh, given me feedback and now I'm in, in a better false set. Let's see. Oh, and getting counter rotation here. But I think I, I don't have enough pressure, so I use this hook again. So let's see. Yeah, feedback. Nice feedback. Hope that I can get it. And I think I got it, but lost something. So I check again. One is okay. Let's check two. And it's open. Great. Wow. Four minutes and 30. Wow. Yeah. The more I play with this lock, uh, the better I get. Was the third time that I, um, or the fourth time, well, the third time that I opened it. And it's, uh, yeah, was quite good this time. All right, so now let's get it. So here is the pinning of this lock. We have standard key pins and they look like made from copper according to the color. And the drivers are made from brass, 1 and 2 are standard, 3 and 4 are very nice spools. You see that they are a little bit thinner in the middle and getting thicker towards the end. And 5 is a tapered driver. The springs look made from copper as well and yeah, the overall appearance of the pins is uh, very nice, look like high quality pins, yeah, really nice. So let's have a quick look to the plug, um, it's round, it's smooth surface and look also very well made 
no uh, grill protection and also no holes for inserting uh, steel pins as drill protection but very nicely made nothing special here alright so that's it that was the picking and gutting and exploration of a trailer euro cylinder thank you very much for watching Happy picking. Bye-bye. I just populated the plug with the key pins and the drivers to see how effective the spools are. And you see that both spools at 3 and 4 have just enough room to be very effective. And at 5 we have the, the tapered pin. Oops. Okay, so that's it. Happy picking and bye-bye. <gasps> Open! Yeah!